lot about the importance of like finishing strong and stuff like that. And he he's talked a lot about it when it comes to kind of like your individual legacy. I guess how aware are you of that of just like how I do over this last stretch really kind of defines a lot of my career. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people talk about, and Coach Finley has said it, it's easy for people to start things, but it's hard to finish. So obviously you want to go out and you don't want to end your career on not playing hard. So you just have to go out, give everything you have, and finish strong. <laughs> yes. So just go out and play as hard as you can, and whatever happens, happens, and leave it all out on the court. How do you feel like you've been playing over the last you know, we asked him like five, six games, it seems like you really hit a groove. When do you feel like you like hit a groove over the last month? Was there a game or moment that it like turned up a notch, I guess? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I probably the last five or six games probably sure. I'd say. What's well, I don't of... even remember them all. How do you? <laughs> you played a lot. I know. I'm, they all blend together, and then I start mixing up the scout, and I'm like, "Wait, is this this <laughs> one or the last one?" What has kind of changed over that stretch that has allowed you to kind of find that next year? Yeah, you just you don't want to end on a bad note. You don't want to go out say having someone say you didn't play hard, so you just had to go out. Like I said, play as hard as you can, and I mean it's going to come to an end at some point, but. It's, you want to try and extend that as long as you can. He mentioned the idea that, like, okay, you could have two games left, or you could have nine games left. Well, That's... I sure hope not. That's the goal. Like, how well aware, I guess, how much is that in the back of your mind? Like, okay, time is really ticking right now. There is not, like, yeah, I mean, another chance here. Try not to think about that. You just have to take it one game at a time and focus on what's it ahead of us right now, which is Baylor, and then once we get past this one, then we can focus on the next one. We can't get too far ahead of ourselves. Do you kind of just put that in the back of your mind, or does it come as motivation in the back ends of these postseason games that, you know, if we lose this one, that's it? So does that, I guess, help motivate you, or do you forget about it and just try to win? Uh, you, it kind of motivates you just knowing that you have to go out and give everything you have. But uh, you don't really think about it when you're out there playing. You're just out there playing. You have to play as hard as you can and do everything you can to win. Cool. Thanks, Thank Ashley.